A glider is at rest on a level frictionless air track. A horizontal force of two newtons is then exerted on the glider for 0.5 meters. If this process is repeated for another glider that has twice the mass, while the same horizontal two newtons of force is exerted on the glider for 0.5 meters, by what factor does each of these change? The final momentum, the final velocity, and the final kinetic energy of the glider. When the mass is doubled, the force and the distance traveled stay the same. That means the work done by the force stays the same. Because the work done by a force is the force times the displacement times cosine the angle between the two. In this case, the force and the displacement, they are going to be in the same direction, so this is cosine zero degrees, and cosine zero degrees is one. So the same force, same displacement, means the work would be the same. And this two newtons force is the net force on this glider. Therefore, this is the work done by the net force. And what is the work done by the net force? It is the changing kinetic energy, which is the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. Since the glider starts from rest, the initial kinetic energy is zero. So the work done stays the same means uh, the final kinetic energy also stays the same, so it changes by a factor of one. And what is the final kinetic energy? It is uh, one half m v final squared. The kinetic energy changes by a factor of one. One half is a constant, so it also changes by a factor of one. The mass is doubled, that means uh, v squared must be halved. So these multiplied together equals to one. So we know the final velocity squared changes by a factor of one half, and we wanna know by what factor the final velocity changes. We have to take square root on both sides. So this changes by a factor of uh, square root of one half. Then we wanna find the final momentum, which is uh, m times the final velocity. The mass doubles, the final velocity changes by that factor. So if you multiply these two, you get square root of two. So final momentum changes by a factor of square root of two. 